was this a picture of you talking to your doc about um, vitamin B12 deficiency? <laughs> Uh, sometimes it seems the docs are headed off in uh, one direction and um, the rest of us are headed off in another. And it, some, again, with B12 deficiency, docs tend to focus uh, a little bit more on um, anemia. Um, in some studies, um, less than half of patients, clearly uh, more than uh, 20% of patients with vitamin uh, B12 deficiency don't have anemia. Um, <clears throat> in addition, uh, they don't even have a low vitamin B12. So what's a patient to do? What's a doctor to do? I, I did a uh, video on vitamin B12 deficiency recently, and this is just a follow-up. The, um, that one was <clears throat> the, uh, blood test for vitamin B12 deficiency was negative, uh, but they still had, they still had it. What does that mean? How does that work? And we talked about it. We talked about how um, quite often vitamin B12 or cyanocobalamin in the serum is uh, in a normal level. Uh, even with uh, vitamin B12 deficiency, uh, this... Now, <clears throat> if your doc starts saying, look, uh, that's a little bit crazy, uh, this is kooky, um, you're thinking of zebras, and I'm listening for horses. Um, refer them to this article, New England Journal, uh, January 10th, 2013. We talked a little bit about that article and the fact that there are a couple of things that do tend to show up. Uh, we'll talk about those in just a minute. But before we do, we'll just talk about a, a few of the key points out of that article. Again, <clears throat> on this series, <clears throat> like most of my series, um, I'll do some review of uh, the general items, the general topics within the overall uh, category. But then we'll talk about some specific articles, some specific findings, some specific issues, uh, things to think about. So with uh, vitamin B12 deficiency, it causes reversible megaloblastic anemia, like we just mentioned, but it also causes demyelinate, demyelinating neurologic disease. It can, can cause both. These neurologic diseases um, often present as numbness and paresthesia of the feet. Um, they can even present as uh, depression, uh, anxiety, um, other things as well. <clears throat> things that um, tend to have a fairly wide, what we call, uh, uh, differential diagnosis. Uh, according to this article in the New England Journal 2013, the uh, immune, autoimmune gastritis or pernicious anemia is the most common cause of severe deficiency. Uh, but again, I think uh, for a lot of us, for most of us, we're not really talking about severe deficiency. Um, methodologic problems do compromise the sensitivity and specificity of current vitamin B12 assays. That's what that uh, earlier uh, video is about, and that's what this one's about as well. Uh, measurement of methylmalonic acid, homocysteine, or both is used to confirm vitamin B12 deficiency in untreated patients. An elevated level of uh, methylmalonic acid is more sensitive and specific for the diagnosis. And we'll get a little bit deeper into details and look at a couple of other studies which brought that up in just a minute. Um, for patients with pernicious anemia or malabsorption, Lifelong B12 therapy is indicated. High-dose oral B12 uh, tablets, 1,000 to 2,000 uh, milligrams, are taken daily. Um, hold on just a second. Um, as effective, and they are effective as IM or um, injections in correcting blood and neurologic abnormalities. <clears throat> One of the old articles that I mentioned was way back in March 1994, the American Journal of Medicine. Uh, sensitivity of serum methylmalonic acid and total homocysteine determinations for diagnosing cobalamin and folate deficiencies. Um, <clears throat> what they did was they uh, looked at a uh, couple of academic hospitals, again way back in the day, 82 to 89, 
uh, at patients who met the criteria for cobalamin and folate uh, deficiency, vitamin B12, uh, vitamin B6 uh, deficiencies. And uh, they also looked at some patients as back as uh, far back as 68 for whom they had s- serum available. 406 patients had uh, cobalamin deficiency or B12 deficiency and 119 out of 123 had folate deficiency. Uh, Two-thirds, there's a demographic uh, component here, two-thirds were blacks or Latinos, but again, I think leaning on that demographic at this point in time is probably a little bit dangerous because, again, we're at a whole different era. We've got a lot more uh, risk factor in terms of taking PPIs, uh, antacids, and we've got a lot more risk factor in terms of people taking, uh, uh, eating vegan, vegetarian, or plant-based diets. Hematocrits were normal in 28%. In other words, 28% of these patients had no anemia. So again, if your doc's headed off down the anemia path or the serum vitamin B12 path, pull him back, tell him to take a look at this, at these articles, these videos. Um, <clears throat> of the 434 episodes of cobalamin deficiency, 98, over 98% uh, of serum methylmalonic acid levels and 96% of homocysteine levels were elevated. So again, that's what you start to see in terms of what to look for. And I can't get this up on uh, the completely visible on my screen, but in this article they said, we conclude that normal levels of both methylmalonic acid and total homocysteine rule out effectively uh, significant cobalamin uh, deficiency. Now, we talked uh, in the other video about why this happens uh, metabolically. You've got uh, methyl um, cobalamin here as a cofactor for the, um, the metabolic equ- uh, equation taking homocysteine to methionine. Um, and that's, you also have uh, MTHFR involved in that as well, or the methylation uh, 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 metabolisms. But uh, if you don't have adequate uh, methyl uh, cobalamin, you're going to get a buildup of homocysteine. Now, likewise, um, the um, uh, a- adocobalamin, uh, another form of vitamin B12, is needed to uh, convert methyl, co- methyl malonyl CoA to succinyl CoA for cell respiration or getting energy. If that uh, B12 is not available, you get a buildup of, again, methylmalonic acid. Now, again, what are, uh, there's actually a great uh, image that we'll look at in just a minute, which helps us understand visually uh, what to look for in terms of um, investigating vitamin B12 deficiency. But first, uh, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. Started off as an ER doc, um, got um, very frustrated with the preventable death, disease, and disability that patients bring into the ER. Went to get training, uh, went to Johns Hopkins, loved it, uh, ended up doing well in the program, ending up running it, um, and have been working with uh, patients and uh, large uh, primary care medical doc staffs, as many as 800 and actually even more, helping them understand how to prevent disease rather than just wait until it happens. Now, I promised a great visual here, and here it is. It's uh, out of that original 2013 uh, New England Journal article. Uh, along this line, you have serum uh, methylmalonic acid. Again, unfortunately, I can't get the label down here, but the uh, Along the uh, horizontal line, you have serum total homocysteine. Now, <clears throat> what you have here is the normal value for uh, serum methylmalonic acid and the normal value for uh, serum total uh, homocysteine. So as you can see here, there was only one out of a significant uh, lit review. Again, it was these, uh, what, six or seven different um, studies looking at this, only one had a normal methylmalonic acid level. There were several, but certainly the minority uh, having a uh, normal serum 
total homocysteine level. Another thing to tell from this uh, image is that um, the circular, uh, the, the dots that are not filled in are open circles indicate patients with a hemoglobin lower than 38%. All these black dots are patients that had no anemia. So again, as you can see, anemia, having anemia or not certainly does not rule out vitamin B12 deficiency. And as you can see, the vast majority of folks that have significant vitamin B12 deficiency are going to end up having an elevated um, methylmalonic acid for sure, but most of them uh, elevated homocysteine as well. Now, <clears throat> just a... Uh, this is one of the other articles that uh, I went back and, and reviewed, referenced in that uh, 2013 article. And it, I thought I'd show this headline for a couple of reasons. Number one, neuropsychiatric disorders caused by cobalamin or vitamin B12 deficiency in the absence of anemia or macrocytosis. So again, you're, you're getting, you can get significant mental health disease um, and again, if your doc's saying that's WIFTY, again, ask him uh, do you, th if he thinks the New England Journal is a WIFTY journal. Um, <clears throat> so I've uh, gone on a good bit. I uh, don't have time to cover it uh, in this video, but in future videos, I plan to cover causes and treatments of B B12 deficiency, like malabsorption, atrophic gastritis, um, Proton pump inhibitors, uh, metformin, uh, nitrous oxide, again, several other things. Now, um, <clears throat> bear with me on our uh, visuals for a second here. And again, yes, of course you do get anemia. You get macrocytic uh, or large cell, macro meaning large, cell meaning uh, cytic meaning cell. You do get a large cell um, anemia in most folks, about uh, what well, a little bit less than uh, three quarters. And uh, as this patient in the in the article uh, had normal uh, B12 levels or normal serum levels. Now, <clears throat> again, in future videos, didn't have time to cover it too well today. But there's you, you get a lot of questions about okay, well. How did that happen? Is it uh, just because I'm on a vegetarian, vegan, or a plant-based diet? Sometimes, yes, and that's a growing uh, cause for this. Uh, it mentioned earlier the most common cause is uh, lack of absorption, and that gets into a little bit of science. We'll cover that again, hopefully, in a later video. Um, what are the signs and symptoms? We've mentioned a couple of times. You can have anything from neuropsychiatric disease, uh, infertility, uh, erectile dysfunction, um, obviously uh, the anemia, megaloblastic anemia that we talked about. Again, not time. there's not enough time right now to go that deeply into it. Um, thank you for your interest.